Hey, welcome back. Today we got a cheap microscope I picked up on Amazon for under 20 bucks Canadian. This thing is really new and just came out. Uh, electronic microscope slash magnifying glass. Check out the box. Pretty cool front end, I gotta say. Um, nice, nice, nice. Engineering, education, production, hobby, you know, it's all there. And it uh, comes in white or black. I got the white one. 500 times magnification, 600 milliamp hour battery. Um, yada yada. Look at that. Two inch IPS screen, two megapixels, light sources, eight LEDs, and they are powerful. Now, supporting OSs do say Windows uh, 8 up to 11. Instruction manual uh, in different languages, but of course, English. And uh, yeah, check it out. Lots to this little device, believe it or not. Um, yeah, so you want to read the manual. It's pretty basic, uh, but it touches on the odds and ends that you're going to need to use this magnifying glass slash microscope. Or is it a microscope magnifying glass? I don't know. Anyway, on the back of it, you can see um, we do have an SD card reader as well. And a rechargeable by a USB-C input, thank God, uh, USB-C. Can't stand those micro USBs and what have you, but uh, looking pretty good. We've got a reset button as well. Not a button, but a little poker. So if something goes amiss, you can stick like a paper clip in there and reset the device. But all in all, a uh, pretty cool little package. Speaking of package, one power button turns it on, hold down for about two seconds, and oh my god, what kind of a picture was that? Um, yeah, once it's on, away you go. At the top, pretty basic here. We have our plus and minus, as well as the camera, and the basic, uh, you know, all setting functionality. And once again, the USB-C, SD card reader, up to 64 gigs. And look at those LEDs, they are bright. They are bright, and you can adjust the illumination as well. It, it feels really good ergonomically wise. It, it feels good. Um, using it here as a magnifying glass, you can see, yeah, you don't get that light illumination, unfortunately, because all the lights are going for the microscope, but it, it, it's not bad. All right, here we have it now turned on in microscope mode. We go up to four times. Right now we're set to one times. And uh, yeah, look at the uh, PCB holes on that little board coming up. Now you do have to get awfully close, about five millimeter, four or five millimeters before it comes into focus. I really wish uh, you could be a little bit further away instead of, you know, being up so close. It's a little awkward to be quite honest uh, when it comes to looking at those small components uh, what have you um there's a resistor some of the color code banding you can see that light does a pretty decent job all around of illuminating the object in question um it's 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 pretty de neat now here i'm sticking in a 32 gig sd card but a boom but a bing goes just like that a little awkward maybe to get it in there but first time it's gonna ask you if you want to format your card just long press and it automatically formats. Now, of course, if you have data or pictures, you might not want to do that. Now you can take JPEGs or AVI video as well with this unit. So that's kind of cool. Uh, here we are looking at that uh, really great electronics book, electronics for uh, inventors, a fantastic uh, book. I just love this book. Um, yeah, so check out the, Oh, look at that. You can see everything. Now, one thing about this is it's a little bit cumbersome the way the buttons are positioned. So you, you kind of got to get used to the lay of the land before you can, you know, do your thing. Tiny bit of a learning curve. But um, yeah, anyway. So I'm going to take a couple of pictures here and you just snap on that camera icon and look at that back and forth. There's a couple of pictures that I've taken. This looks kind of cool. I mean, you know, if you want to, you know, grab something, uh, maybe you don't have a pen or whatever to write it down, just take a picture and you're good to go. So that is neat. You can adjust the brightness as well from one to three, I believe. But uh, it's very, very bright. No matter what setting you're on with those LEDs, it is bright. Okay, now in terms of connectivity, we have that USB-C connector. Look at that. Oh, goes in and it's charging. It's red, meaning it's charging. Once it's green, it is fully charged. Takes about an hour and a half. You have a nice uh, little animation there just letting you know that it's charging. 
and uh, that takes about an hour and a half or so to charge well, maybe a little bit longer maybe a little less depending on how powerful your charger is i'm gonna try and get that little top oh geez what oh god ah oy vey okay so i managed to got that plastic off the protector and uh, there we go turn it back on greeted with this funny little animation and uh, there you go let's just put it up on that manual one more time honestly you know really can't see much of a difference with uh, the protector on or off but anyway some people like to leave them on hey whatever works for you okay here i'm right now uh back of the display board and uh, just looking at those smd resistors tiny little smd resistors not so tiny with the magnifying glass well microscope rather why do i keep calling this a magnifying glass anyway um yeah so now once again we have that five millimeter distance before it comes into focus was just a little bit too close for my liking um i wish we could be a bit further away i uh, have a tendency to sort of you know get too close or hit the stuff but anyway once you've got your image awesome you can go back look at it later on very very nice this is a big problem is i went to download the software and that's okay was able to download it but then i could not run that software it's uh, hooked up by USB C to the laptop this laptop is running windows 11 home um you can see here you do have multiple options for that uh, connectivity with your computer but at the end of the day no matter what i tried and believe me i'm a bit of a geek okay so yeah um could not get windows to talk to the magnifying glass so probably a driver issue with some sort i hope they can fix this up because i mean as it is it's half baked you're using losing all that functionality i can't look at anything on my computer that i just took ah Closing thoughts on the tiny little digital microscope from Amazon. Oh man, it's it's a tough one. You know, if you're gonna get this thinking you're gonna have really good sort of video, audio quality playback, don't get it because the software is buggy. I could not get it to work on uh, my Windows 11 Home Edition laptop. Didn't recognize the device. Tried everything in Device Manager. End of the day, it just doesn't work. That being said, I still think it's got a, a niche kind of a role to it. And if you don't require that video playback, it's not bad up to four times zoom which is probably overkill because really i never turned it out of one time zoom it's more than enough now for electronics unfortunately it's a little bit too close it's about five millimeter before things come into focus ideally it should be 10 millimeters or more for electronics work it would just make things that much better okay it's a cheap little device it takes pictures stick it in up to a 64 gig sd card and away you go recharge being time takes about 25 to 45 minutes depending on your charging power and that charge will last for about an hour hour and a half not the greatest but hey definitely long enough to use especially if you're going to use this on and off now end of the day it's a cool little device and i just really wish that software would be fixed so it could be complete Tiny little magnifying glass from Amazon gets a solid 2.5 out of five stars. Uh -oh. Yeah, this is a pretty cool magnifying glass slash microscope, but it needs some work. Hey, thanks for watching this El Cheapo Quicko review. To the next one, keep on testing.